Let's see some examples of chemical changes. First of all, let's talk about combustion or burning. Now, combustion or burning takes place in the presence of oxygen. We know that before a substance can burn, there are three things needed. We need our fuel. We also need our heat source. And then we need our oxygen. These are the three things we need before burning can take place. Now, burning is a process that involves a reaction with oxygen. Oxides are formed after burning. Burning a log to ash cannot be reversed. The ashes cannot be put together to get back the log. So here, the substance itself is changing. Remember, in the physical changes, here, the wood is not changing. It is only the state, the size of the wood that is changing. But here, the wood or the log is going to change. This log is going to change to form ash, like you see here. Okay. So this means that for chemical changes, new substances are formed. And then that new substance cannot be reversed to get the old substance again. That is it for burning. Let's go on to boiling or cooking. We eat food. Now before we eat food, sometimes we need to cook them. Okay, with the fruits, they are edible just the way they are. But we need to cook certain foods. After cooking, we cannot reverse whatever we've done. Here you, we can see eggs in two plates. This first egg here has not been cooked. Nothing has been done to it. The second egg is cooked egg. Over here, you see that the egg exists in a certain state. But over here, this egg exists in a different state. Once we cook egg, we cannot undo it again. We cannot uncook the egg and get what we had previously. So cooking or boiling is also a chemical change. The third one is color changes. We talked about food tests some weeks ago. We saw that food samples contain certain food components or certain food molecules. Now these can be tested for okay now one of the tests we use was the iodine test this iodine test is a reaction between the iodine and then something specific in the starch okay now iodine is brown in color now once it reacts with the starch we get a dark blue color as our result. hydrogen is brown it reacts with starch and then we get our dark blue color as a result so over here we see that color changes also show examples of chemical changes iodine reacted with the starch and then we got our blue color if there's no color change that means there is no starch this is why we say chemical changes are usually not reversible.